In a lot of remote or rural areas across many regions on the African continent, the lack of access to mechanized resources such as tractors has been hindering agricultural productivity. Where there is access to traditional tractors, logistical issues of getting diesel to those places tend to add a premium to the cost of doing business. Technological advances in the solar PV and lithium battery sectors, along with the associated cost reductions of the past decade, are now making it easier to deploy distributed mini-grids in remote areas. As it becomes more feasible to deploy these types of mini-grids around the continent, it will also become much easier to introduce electric vehicles in those regions. The solar could be used to charge electric two-wheelers and three-wheelers as well as larger vehicles. EVs and PV are a match made in heaven and the synergies between them not only unlocks the ability to introduce electric vehicles in places where getting fossil fuels is a challenge, but also helps to enable more productive use of energy in the mini-grid ecosystem. This is why we are very excited to see Volkswagen Group Africa launch a new multifunctional facility in Gashora, Rwanda, about 60 kilometers from the capital Kigali. Volkswagen Group Africa has announced the start of operations of its multifunctional facility in Gashora to pilot modern farming with electric tractors in Africa. Volkswagen Group Innovation Center Europe supplies the e-tractors and provides equipment for the project from Wolfsburg in Germany, while Volkswagen Mobile Solutions Rwanda is the catalyst in operating the pilot hub and provides input and support to the operations. The managing director of Volkswagen Group Innovation, Dr. Nikolai Arde, described how the Gen Farm operates. We want to offer various services in the empowerment hubs. Farmers can book an e-tractor, including a trained driver for affordable, sustainable farming. The unique selling point of the project is the use of the battery swap system. In this way, the battery becomes part of the hub's energy infrastructure, as well as energy storage for the tractor, says Arde. Here is Martina Bien, chairperson and managing director of Volkswagen Group Africa, speaking about the Gen Farm and the tractor. We actually tested on African terrain already here with Rika to see kind of what is the need. So, for example, uh, Rwanda has the specific, or not only spe specific to Rwanda, but um, Rwanda is very hilly, and the fields, the individual fields, are very very small. So, to make sure that this thing can cope with the hills. To make sure that uh, that uh, can cope with the environment, this is now designed and made for for Africa. And what we try here, it's a pilot project, which we hope to eventually roll out to to African countries. Um, is um, this one is, as I said, electric? So it comes then with uh, solar panels uh, to be charged, um, which is also a good thing because there is in many rural areas there is no access to fuel. Um, so you can overcome the fuel shortage um, with, this, uh, with an electric tractor. So you've got uh, a solar powered uh, tractor. You've got uh, this is what we are still building here. You've got an like so-called innovation hub uh, or a hub project where you can have access to wireless LAN, where there's offices where you can just work. We also with that try to introduce uh, three wheelers, electric three wheelers, um, in, in order for the farmers to get the crops to the so the produce to the market um, figured out the three wheelers is too small, but uh, so that is a there's an entire uh, ecosystem which comes with the electric tractor. So it's not only about that one, but a lot of partnering the solar power company, the um, the, the, the three wheeler company, and we'll really try to figure out to find a sustainable solution uh, for farmers in uh, rural areas to be more efficient uh, and to be able to 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 farm in a better way. It seems this is already going fast. Well, we are still learning a lot. Um, what we also try to figure out is um, 
what is at the end the business case of that? Um, so, um, of course, in, in many individual farmers won't be able to to afford a lead tractor as well as they are not able to afford a, a tractor. So, actually, who at the very end is the customer of our ecosystem? And that could be, and that's I think what we also try to figure out. That could be communities who purchase together, who set up that solar park, who have the tractors, and because the concept is based on on pay per use. So we've got a partner who's very interested in industrializing the tractor. He's been conducted some visits. There's plans to industrialize. Um, but I think what we still need to figure out, uh, and that's also why it's so great to have you all here, <laughs> is like who who actually is not only interested because it's a great solution, but who is able to uh, to to purchase it. Because at the end, if I may, at the total cost of ownership, and that's what we've just heard, which is really uh, important, the, the total cost of ownership are much less with this one. You've got apparently less uh, uh, less servicing, less breakdowns, uh, less energy costs, uh, but still an a tractor is expensive uh, to, to get it going. So, um, yeah, really looking for, for the customers who not are only interested in, but uh, say that, that makes sense for us as a community or as a government uh, or, or whatever. Oh, we have not figured the market price. We have not figured that out because that is really that was the prototype. But Mark One is also only one. As of now. So we are talking currently to for the to the partner in terms of industrializing it. Um, then he will figure out the price. We've, we've told him what we think, what we can take in 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 African countries. But let's see whether we are able to, to match that. Here is how the battery swapping works.